everybody! Welcome! My name is Ursa Ryan and this episode is what happens when I'm left alone and my intrusive thoughts win. This all goes back to a series we ran a little while ago with the Aztecs where wonderful friend of the channel Fuzzle made this mod, Super Resource Spawns. Basically every tile on a map gets a resource. It's ridiculous. We played Aztec, we had a really fun game, we whipped out amazing crazy combat bonuses and we killed everyone. But it got me thinking, if a map just has endless copies of luxury resources, how much cheese is available? Is cheese a luxury resource? Can we get cheese with Catherine? Yes, Magnificence Catherine with the Court Festival project. As a reminder, you complete it, you gain 50 culture and 50 tourism based on the number of excess copies of a luxury. Hmm, a map full of luxuries, excess copies. How quickly can we absolutely cheese a culture victory? Now I thought about playing this as ancient era, but then I kind of thought to myself, well, all that's going to be is waiting to unlock things like irrigation and mining. I can't be bothered with that. We're not going to make an entire series out of this because quite fundamentally is a map laden with resources. I'm physically drowning under the number of resources on this map. Is that with Court Festival going to be fair? No, no it is not. This is totally broken. So what I've done is I've started in the Renaissance era with everything unlocked, with industrial zones and theatre squares and all improvements totally unlocked, a good government ready to go. It's turn 196. It's deity. It's standard speed. As usual, the mods you need are all in Discord as well as the save file. How quickly can we win this game? Let's just get started. So turn one is turn 196. Whenever you have an advanced start, I would always recommend you pick your government before settling that first city. Trust me, it's worth it. There's Diplomatic League and there's Serfdom. Now when I settle my city down, I'll gain two bonus charges on my builder. Lovely. I reckon colonization and potentially urban planning just for a little bit more production. Equestrian orders, not that that's going to help in the slightest, and industrial zone bonuses. Again, no, conscription. At least that does something. And lo, the city of Paris. I'm just going to quickly name this turn 196 so that I can remember what turn one was. Now, as you can see, everyone has 10 domestic tourists. I've got to get 11. Because this is a six player game, that means I need 1,200 tourism with a player to take one tourist. So if I gain 1,200 tourism, I will gain five tourists with a single project. Now to get that, I need 24 copies of excess luxury resource. So we're going to get as quickly as we can to the 24 excess copies mark. What does that mean? It basically means get builder, print builder, unlock luxury resource. Yes, I'm, I wasn't joking. This map is going to be ridiculously weighted. This is not a fair map. Rapid initial expansion. The best bit about court festival, I don't actually need to actually meet anybody. <laughs> just totally pointless. All we need to do is make sure we've got a few theatre squares sorted and we'll chop those out. But maybe do we just not keep one city, but do we need any more cities to do this? I don't know. There you go. First copy. So that does not count as an excess. We still need 24 more. As you can see, a lot of the tiles are empty. I have learned that these will all have strategic resources on them. And there's a lot of bonus resources. Bonus resources are not as useful for me. Wow, look at this huge mountain range on a map where I don't really care. Isn't that always the way? Taruga, why don't you be my friend? Oh, lots of resources here. Don't forget, they will give me the bonus resources and the luxury resources. Whoa, I love when the map does that. It's just like, hey, did you want to see everything all at once? And you're like, no, please, I'm travel sick. It's too much. It's too much for me. Oh, oh, I love late start barbs. We're just going to kill your skirmishes immediately. How, how does that sound? And you're like, no, please don't. As you can see, a lot of people are gaining extra domestic tourists. This is no fun. So don't worry, we're now gaining extra luxuries. There's my thirst. So now our project is worth 50 tourism. We need to get to the 1,200 mark as soon as we can. So do number two, Marseille? No, no, turn 201. I want to keep track of how this is going in all of my cities. Give me as many luxuries as you can, please. Liang, why don't you jump into this city? Then we can get more builders. Damani into Taruga with affluence. And therefore, we can just get more copies of things, even if someone else comes in and ruins it. Yep, there goes my scout. Oh well, it was nice knowing them. Actually, checks notes. Was it nice knowing them? Did they actually give me anything? Mmm, debatable. Already up to five copies of luxuries so far. We need more. More. Just search for luxury resource and go and settle near all of them. That's what I say. Preslav, give me more visibility. Thank you. And more luxuries. Excellent. Chopping out settlers. It's always fun, especially when districts are this cheap. Pop that aqueduct down and we'll get an industrial zone going. 
thing and then we'll see if we can think about getting a lovely theatre square. Egypt. Hello, honoured to meet you. Yes, we probably will start buying their luxuries at some point as well. As mentioned before, it doesn't matter whether we actually meet people or not. It's got nothing to do with anything. Gee, he does have two sources of cotton. Can I snag those quickly? Oh yeah, I can. There we go. Gee, buy my Diplo favour and now I can pointlessly buy tiles for more luxuries I clearly don't need. Chocolate as well. That's 16 copies. We're only 10 turns out. Why has somebody got 19 tourists all of a sudden? Don't do that. They're probably just getting inspirations. When you unlock inspirations and you get all of that culture, it does give you tourists. So if you just get a particularly big one that saves you, I don't know, say 286 culture, that would be worth almost three domestic tourists. So that's sometimes why you see a lot of this stuff going early game. You know what I really should have done? Get a Pantheon. That would have been helpful. Alas, we'll just have to regret that forever. You'll note that I'm not selling my luxuries at all. They are off limits. I refuse. And let's chop this and pop a theatre square down. So far, so good. City number three. Turn 208. So 12 turns afterwards and I've got this settler now heading down towards this lovely glut of chocolate down there. There's the theatre square. Court festivals are quite expensive. This is why I've got to wait until I pop it right at the correct moment. 24 excess luxuries should be enough to get, as I mentioned, one tourist to everyone, which puts me on five. So I've got to pop quite a few of these projects, but it's all good. We just continue settling. We're still at 20 is the max for now. As long as we move quickly, we should be all right. Geneva. Let's meet everything around Geneva. Okay. Gives me more luxuries anyway, if nothing else. I haven't met Mongolia though, which is kind of slightly a shame. Snuffly, trufflies, and coffee. 21 luxuries now. Oi, give Geneva back. What do they want? A trade route. We can do a trade route. It's easy. City number four. Turn 214. We're 18 turns after now. There's a builder and here are some more luxuries. Oh, we finally got a Pantheon. I think extra production and food from camps would be a good idea given how many I've got in my capital. Bam, just gives me a ton more production hit. There's 24. There's 24. So we now have enough to steal one tourist from everyone with a single project. Project. If we can get to 48, which is twice as many as we've got now, obviously it gets even better, but we'll see what we can do. Visitors speak in awe of turn 196, I bet they do. Why are you frying all of my stuff, Mr. Volcano? I don't approve. Actually, one thing I don't want to do is make my projects any more expensive. So I'm actually going to stop myself from finishing any techs or civics. Feels like an incredibly weird thing to do, but I think it's the best thing. What I'm also doing is just getting my court festival to one turn away. Then I can preload them and release a ton when I'm ready. You want to build up the bonus to as high as you can and then just say, hey, look, I've got 28 resources. Give me everything you've got or, you know, not 28 resources, 31 resources. It's all the same. Hong Kong, one envoy here and again, nothing discovered, but some more luxuries exploited. We're now up to 35. And I can see that the city state hasn't actually improved everything they've got. So I'm going to move the builder over and help them with that, which is absolutely something you can and should be doing. Turn 220. Get yourself a builder and let's go as quickly as possible. Okay, so city-states are actually improving their luxuries now, which is amazing to see. The AI is still selling them to me. And that's one turn away, so we're going to stop that court festival immediately and get on working some settlers. Egypt is basically just paying for this entire terraforming campaign. I'm having to sell, like, everything that I own. This is giving me the gold to buy the tiles, to clear the luxuries, to get the court festivals. If I can get two or three ready to pop on the same turn. I think this might be worth it. 42. 42 spare luxuries. Oh, that's what we want to see. Would have been really good to buy the government card that unlocks. Actually, look, we can do this. Yeah, so here we go. So the card that lets me buy tiles cheaper. That's something that would be really quite handy at the moment. Okay, 10 more gold as well. Excellent. We can buy tiles cheaply now. Well, cheaply is probably an exaggeration. Cheaper. Let's go cheaper. Okay, unless I've calculated this wrong, we now have 40 Five. We need to get to 48 and that would let me steal two tourists from everyone with a single project which would get me to 10 tourists. And these projects are almost done. Now. Yeah, I, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Okay, there's 48. There's 48. We've hit the golden number. Three projects. We can still do this, I think. Gonna be close. Could I have another trade route? Could we build theatre square things faster? I mean, honestly, whatever goes through right now. I don't care. Campus, fine. Nobody needs any campus buildings. Let's be honest. I'll go on to Ruga. Meet whoever this is. Every 
Everyone we meet is more people, yes, that I can trade with. Desperately trying to move my person over towards Mongolia, but this mountain range is being really annoying. You know what? I think I'm actually going to finish this court festival and get the next one going. We'll just see how much they are, but I've got some builders lined up to chop some stuff in my capital. See if my maths works out correctly. Bam, one project finished. Okay, it's showing the correct two tourists from Egypt, but it's not showing them from anyone else. Oh no, it is. But maybe I can't register as having them until I've met the people in question. That could also be a thing. All right, all right, well, we'll figure this out, but it means that the projects are working properly, so we'll get more cracking. Turn two, two, eight. We're now 32 turns after. I just realized I finished diplomatic service, didn't I? Whoops, of course I did. Ah, it just one turned all of my cultures. <laughs> okay, I've made the projects a little more expensive doing that. Never mind. Ignore the fact that I can't optimize properly. Come on, Taruga, meet, ah, oh, meet whoever this is. Come on. I need you to meet them as fast as possible. Do we finish another project or do I wait until the last second when I think I can win? I think I'm just going to wait until the last second and we'll chop these out then. But they're, they're almost ready to go now. I really should just like force end turn without finishing any of these civics. But at the same time, it's like, eh, let's just push this. Let's push this as much as I can go. We're still one turning everything. <laughs> <laughs> so much culture I got. Our project was nuts. Like, I uh, what? We shouldn't have that much. We absolutely should not have that much. Who even is this? Do we even know? Nubia. Green Nubia. We've had some weird colors recently. Sprawling Empire. That's always good to see. Turn two, three, two. Start shooting this musket. Buy ourselves another builder. 51 luxuries now. Now that's one turn off the court festival. We will just hold fire. I want to just meet everyone if I can. And there's Mongolia. Okay, so we've met at least one person. So you haven't met anybody else at the moment. We'll just let this recalculate. I think next turn, if this shows four, then it means that meeting people will actually give me everything I need. Oh yeah, by the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one copy there. Thank you so much for all of your luxuries. I've now got 62 copies. I need to get to 72 to get three tourists with every project. Very specific maths. Geneva's back. Oh yeah, more luxuries. Looks like Egypt might be taking out Geneva soon, but hopefully they last long enough. That's all they need to do. Long enough. Yes, it has given me the tourists. Okay, so we currently have 10. So we should get to 40. I think meeting people is now the priority. That That is honestly in this efficient little how quickly can we win. That's been the blocker. We haven't met everyone. Heavy chariot. Your job is to go and meet Nubia. Have you stolen Geneva again? Oh my goodness. Look at how many envoys just went in. Oh, that's mean. You better give me all of these luxuries via trade deals. Thank you. The worrying thing is that neither person that I've currently currently met right now has met anyone else. It means that wherever the AI is, it's it's hiding around the map. Don't like that. Oh, somebody just got a bunch of culture there. Don't do this to me. Don't let me get so close to winning and then be really annoying. So I've now got three court festivals loaded up. If I meet everyone, I'd now get 10, 20, 30 tourists. So I would win, but I need to know everybody. Ideally, I want to get to 72 tourists again or excess luxuries. If I can get to that point, I think we're on to a winner. Oh, we finally met Nubia. Hello, Aminatore. Yes, yes. Come in. Have you met the last person? No. Why did I pick such a big map, eh? Never mind. What do you charge for all of your luxuries? Ah, not very much. If I buy a knight, I believe that then gives me enough to then get Taruga back, which means I'm now on 72 luxuries. That's that's the magic number. That's what we need. We've got Armani heading to Nan Madol, because then I can get a duplicate of every luxury without actually needing to do anything there. Do I prop my projects now? Do I pop the projects now. It would be worth nine. Nine tourists of every player. That would give me a maximum of 45. If I could meet everyone, I'd win. I just need a little buffer. I need a buffer. I, ideally, I want to get like a, a couple of luxuries over that just in case between turns like Taruga is taken or something like that. I don't want to be right on the level. You know, you just know the game would be like, eh, hey, you know that fun that you wanted to have? I know. All right, now we've got a slight buffer. We've got a slight buffer. All right, we're going to actually just pop all these projects now. Court festival, court festival, court festival. So we've got three of them all finishing on the same turn, which is a concept is just, you know, absolutely ridiculous. In fact, I'm just going to chop rush these just to absolutely make sure that we pick up what we need to. Yeah, eight, 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 eight. Look at that. <laughs> it hasn't updated itself properly yet, but it will. Don't you worry. Might as well get another one working. There you go. 24. Bam, another one. Just keep chopping them out. As soon as I meet one other person, I've won.
one. <laughs> That's the ridiculous thing. If I meet one more person, I've won instantaneously. Oh, I feel like this needs to be rerun. There's an efficiency here that I haven't quite got, especially because now I've got 80 luxuries. It just keeps going up in number. The entire theme of this playthrough is just that I throw such good parties that the world cannot help but just party with me, even though most of the world doesn't know who I am. That doesn't stop people. No. Keep chopping out these parties. And there's another one. We'll start chopping out another. Magnus is very good for this. And look, there we go. We've won. Somehow we won. I'm not actually sure how that happened. Maybe we met somebody else in the middle of the turn. But that just goes to show how ridiculously powerful those theatre projects can be. The court festivals if you preload luxuries. And we've played this with the AI before. The AI just sells you duplicate luxuries like it's anything. They don't value them at all. Oh man, this I'm throwing out to you as a community. I have had one go at this and we won in what, 40 something turns? I bet this could be done so much quicker. I bet there is an optimization here that works so much better than we've just seen. Does making the number of players higher or probably lower actually, does that make it better? Actually, yeah, making low numbers of people I think could make this even quicker. Like a two player map, is that the optimum thing to do? I wanna see your strategies. I wanna see just how few turns you can win this sort of victory in because I, I bet this is very, very manipulative. Manipulative? This is malleable. Yes, the game itself is manipulative. <laughs> Oh dear. The culture tree does not really show my level of culture because it spikes up like crazy. None of these graphs are going to be very particularly useful for you. No one built any wonders. Nobody got any religions. Nobody got any great people at all. That's hilarious. I did lose one unit. I was the second person to lose a unit. Yeah, that's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. Why did I win that? I have no idea why I won that. It says 42 out of 40... <laughs> I guess the AI must have gained some tourists after I gained mine. Maybe because it doesn't actually say like it should win. But 47 turns. No, no, 47. We, we can do it faster than that. We must be able to do it faster than that. I want to see your attempts. Let me see them. Thank you again to Fuzzle for this wonderful, wonderful mod. I would advise everyone to go and have a play with this. It's a lot of fun even if you're not playing France. Go play Aztec on this map or just generally have a good time. See you all later. Bye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, The Nickerman, Daddy Bear Todd, Toon General, Civilized, Kappa Yobby Virini, The Uncivil Engineer, Lillian, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Charlie Bears, Flying Dutch Burbs, Nate the Great, Alex Frost, Mean Penguin, Interplanet Janet, Frankincense Battlesword, Bukaluk79, Bob Loblo, Davilex, Geography Teacher, Juvara, Hal Karnassus, Morax, Sinekush, Echo Bear, Deja Fu, Kovu Wu, Legally Trash, Is This Live, Twin Cam Inferno, Martin S, Minnow, Sorta Dutch, Rad Bickley, Shadow of Gaia, Flower Power Bear. Thank you everyone for your support. Goodbye.